Hello there, welcome back. Now, when he arrived in Emmerdale just uh, two years ago, poor old Ryan had no idea what he was in for. Good job, really. Mm. Why would you tell me that my dad was dead? <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> Make your mind up. Maisie, I've got a girlfriend. He's your brother. I was that close to sleeping with my own sister. Please. Come on! Tell Doug who I am! Come on! Come on! I'll kill you! I've been set up. Yeah, of course, yeah. Guilty. <laughs> He's innocent! Can't you see? Sure about this? Yeah. I want all of it. Every penny. <laughs> well, James Sutton is with us now. Let's do, so the potted history here, really, <laughs> just a good to, montage. So, yeah, oh, yeah. We do a good we, montage. We here. do a good montage. Always. So he discovered he had a long lost father, had an incestuous relationship with your long lost sister, accused of murder that you didn't commit, framed by your half brother who you'd only recently met, yeah. went to trial, went to prison. Okay. We missed yeah. anything? Well, sort of, no, that's, that's, that's about in, my checkered nutshell, history, yeah. Which means, in actual fact, you've had a ball there, haven't you? I've had a great time. I've been so lucky. Yeah. So lucky. I mean, because it's, you know, it's an, it's an ensemble cast, so everyone has to take their chances, and, you know, some people get a big storyline and then disappear for a while, and I've just had a great run of sort of 18 months of just constant kind of... So when did you know for you, then, that, ah, oh, you know, I think this is coming to an end? Did you... Did, did you talk to the writers did you know it was coming did they just say do you know what we've sort of got to the end it's of kind of a mutual thing really I mean I, all my family kind of left my sister went mental and left my brother was so evil that we kind of got rid of him my father <laughs> got shot my stepmother left my mother left so it was just kind of a natural kind of thing that I was she did last... ask for you to go with her though. she did but she just went to live with like auntie Mabel in San yeah. Francisco and that's not what I want to no. do great city look yeah but you know yeah. not for Ryan <laughs> so I kind of I stayed around for a little bit and I just thought you know what actually maybe I'll kind of see what else is out there and Kind of run its course. Well, me. it was for, for him. It was sort of taste of prison that changed him a bit, wasn't mm. it? Really, when yeah, when yeah. He was quite. A, he was quite a sort of well-rounded kind of character. Um, and after the after kind of Mark's death, and he found out that his sister was, uh, he was nearly sleeping with his sister. Oops. Uh, yeah. Okay. These, these things happen, you know. It's, uh, <laughs> you know, every day. Um, and then going to prison, he came out a little bit kind of just sort of a bit weary of, of everything, really. Well, it changed his relationship within the uh, with Kane, really, didn't mm. it? With, within mm. the within the garage, because I think we've got a clip tonight we're going to have a look at. Um, and this is well, let's have a look at the clip, and then we'll we'll discuss it afterwards. Okay. okay here you go. You got a visit? Yeah, I'm sorted. Oi! Watch yourself. Don't let them grind you down. And he's gone. Oh, and that's the exit. That's quite But they haven't sad. blown you up. No, they haven't blown, blown me up. up or anything, I'm so still alive, so, you know, never, never say never. So it's not going to win any awards for best dramatic It's not exit, the most dramatic like of, no. No, no. But what, what he did do there was he, uh, um, which you'll see when you watch um, the, the show itself, um, that he was talking to Kane very honestly, asking him quite honest questions mm. about, about whether or not he liked his life of crime. Yeah, that's the, the, the thing that I've been really, um, really pleased with this kind of Ryan and Kane's relationship in that Ryan's been one of the only people that actually says to Kane that you're, you're just an idiot, like, you, what are you doing? You know, you get yourself into all this trouble, you're a grown man, you've got a child, you've got, you know, you've got a wife and stuff. Um, so it was, yeah, just a really, really nice scene to, to have to play out at the end. A nice bit of honesty. And actually. Jeff Wardley is such a nice guy. Oh, I love he's that man. Here. I love that yeah. man. I took him to Anfield actually for the Man City game a couple of weeks ago. Um, he's just a superstar. Love Does him. he support Man City? Yeah. yeah. So he, he he didn't have many positives to take away from, <laughs> it, from a three 0 battering. But, uh, <laughs> and what uh, what now you've walked out as we just saw? What what have you walked into? You're doing a little bit of Shakespeare. Yeah, I've just done um I've just done like a little uh, a little monologue for uh, like a BBC educational thing, trying to get young people interested in, in Shakespeare. That's um, not easy. Which isn't easy. No. I mean, I I I love Shakespeare. It's my it's my passion. But when I was when I was at school. Um, and you get given a text and you pick it apart and you kind of lose a bit of the kind of sense of fun and mm. passion that, that I feel for it. So it's kind of this incentive of kind of um, getting people, getting young youngsters to, 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 to try their hand at it and so get is involved it, is in it. So is this modern, modern Yeah, 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 kind of, yeah, based modern, on Shakespeare yeah, plays. Gritty urban settings. <laughs> 
I think. Um, but yeah, that's what I want to do, really. I so want to how did you do... get your passion for Shakespeare, then? Was it a teacher who inspired yeah, you? Yeah, a little bit. I used to do, um, I used to do Open Air Shakespeare. Um, at Stafford Castle, back where I'm from, um, and we had like, we had like uh, Matthew Kelly, people like this come and do it, and to watch these great actors doing their stuff, it's just you know like any any actor would be inspired to want to you know to want to do that. So would you? Uh, th this, as we said, this is an online thing, so that's mm. a, it's a fleeting. Yeah, it's only a little. Of, it's, it's yeah. So would you? Now you've got a bit of free time. Would you like to do some more? I'd love to. Yeah. So um, yeah, RSC, give us a job, please. Do you have a favourite? What, what, what would you like um, to do? Oh God, I, I love I love the, I like the, the tragedies more. I like uh, I like Richard III. I like Lear, um, the darker ones. Mm. I think. Now, the gritty. last time you were on the show, I was quite surprised actually because you play a mechanic, obviously. In oh no, 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 which no. is interesting when you consider this is what you told us last time you were here. Oh, no. You can't even drive him to his party, can you? Because you can't drive. <laughs> eight years now. Why is did it? you bring? Is that it eight up? years? Yeah. Eight <laughs> years you've been yeah, trying I'm to. Twenty-six, and yeah, yeah I don't. <laughs> we had a, we had a... And, uh, and and uh, and now. I can't believe you brought that up. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm bone idle. I'm now. 28 years of age, still can't drive. Look at your face! Can Look you at your judging face! You get so <laughs> your judging face! Look at your <laughs> judging face! <laughs> I'm just honestly, like, I, some people were are meant to drive, some were meant to be driven. Are you frightened of it? Terrified. <laughs> I'm not good behind the wheel at all. So, how did you do the scenes in Emmerdale if you had to, because you're a mechanic, you had to I had behind to the wheel? I suffer the utter indignity of having an art department team push me <laughs> along and me just go like that. <laughs> Which so is now you've got a little bit more spare time. Yeah, exactly. Do you, do you yeah. think that, that perhaps you would learn to drive? Oh, I'd love to tell you yes. You're not going but to? But probably not, no. Well, do you think you've left it too I've late had, now? I've had, like, I've, had like, I've had 40 odd lessons. No and way! Yeah, You're I'm, just not good at it. I'm just not good. I'm not good and I'm, 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 my concentration is terrible. I, just I think probably best not then. Yeah, you don't the th I think for the rest of us on I the road, don't me, you don't want you. me cutting you up on a dual <laughs> carriageway. You don't, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, mate. Thank you very much indeed for uh, for coming for in, me. and no, not at all. Can um, I? Can I? Before I go, can I plug our soap awards? Yeah, of course. Oh, yes. Is that okay? Yeah. Can, can everybody please vote for the sickeningly talented Danny Miller, the lovely Jane Cox, and Emma Dale for best soap? Thank you. And you won't have quite so far to travel for this no, year. No, Manchester. Because the, this year they're coming from yeah. Manchester. I can go home afterwards. Terrific. You won't remember going, of course. No. Uh, so, so <laughs> probably <laughs> often happens at the same <laughs> It's a hell of a party. I've like seen the pictures in the paper. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Scope with a bottle of gin. Uh, uh, so. Same old, same old. Thank you very much. Great Thank to you. see you, James. Thanks. Say hi to everyone at Emmerdale. We love them up there, don't we?